Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. So setting up your computer, if you don't have one, just watch so you know for the future. Um, so I've had people where their computer looks like this, like, oh my God. And um, like literally I have clients that come in and I'm like, oh, time out. We need to arrange a few things before we start planning anything. And, like, this is bad. Like, so disorganized. Like, how the hell do you find anything? So you've got to have a rhyme and a reason where you're just, like, stressed constantly. Constantly stressed. So the first thing I want to show you guys is organization. And for those of you who don't have a computer, um, you can start organizing your phones or your iPads to where things... I know people are like, but I want to see the picture. And but like, you guys, the front of your phone is real estate and like it should be organized in the way that you use your apps, right? So like that means you hold things down. I don't know why it does that sometimes. And you move them and like make folders so you're not scrolling for days. Like, I don't understand. Now, I have had people say, oh, well, I just pull down and then, like, search whatever app I'm looking for. Or you can tell Surrey to open it for you. But, like, why would you just not organize everything? Like, again, I don't understand. So, like, I've got, um, you know, a photo, video folder. I've got a messages folder, a work folder, a social folder, another photo folder. Um, my most used, a health folder, which spray tanning is in health, just FYI. Uh, <laughs> navigation, music. Did you put things automatically in your most used, or that's you? No, that's me. Okay. I set all this up. Yeah. So while I talk through the computer, if you don't have this, like, or start organizing this part. Um, it's like people just don't take time to do it. It's not hard, right? It's not hard. Um, I just noticed that they have yellow cloths, gold cloths, which is like on brand. (laughs) Anyway, just saying. So your computer dock, which is this down here, okay? If there are things down here that you do not use every day, get it away. Get it away, okay? So how you get things away is you can right-click, do two fingers, you go to options, you can keep things in the dock, or you can, you know, get it out of the dock. My dock's cleaned up, so, like, if I close this, like, I can do two fingers and quit it, or I can do Command-Tab, and I see everything open, and then when we go over shortcuts, I'll talk more about this. Um, but this is just subliminal distraction. Like, if you're not using the things down here, get rid of them. Like, they're still going to be there, you guys. You can take five fingers and do this. And, like, there's all your stuff. Okay? <laughs> I'm looking at her again. Yeah, Two fingers, three fingers. Okay? And there's multiple ways to get to these things, Okay? Again, I'm a creative, I'm orange, I'm visual. I like to see it like this. And then I take it a step further and I make folders. So my business folder matches my phone folder, which matches my iPad folder. 
so your brain doesn't have to work as hard to find your shit, people. <laughs> um, and then, like, I have the product, you know, whatever. Clearly, I've been slacking because these are not in folders. But you can also do command in, which command in, if your cursor is on the desktop, just gives you a new window. So you can also get to your applications right here. So if you like things in list view, here's all your applications. So this and this, same thing, okay? Now, if you don't have time to organize all your stuff, just go up here to the search bar, type in what you need, just like pulling down on your phone and typing in for the app, right? So that's why I tell people that are creatives, I'm like, you are killing your brain productivity-wise when you're not doing the same gestures on all of your devices. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, like, for instance, for notifications, like, my notifications are right here, right? So, and my Do Not Disturb is on while like I'm in mirror mode. So there's not like notifications and stuff. My notifications on here. And again, you have to set this up. So when I, when I pull down, like here's all my notifications, right? So when I'm in a meeting for eight hours and I really need to check out and be a hundred percent with that client, I can, and I'll have to open 15 different apps at the end of the day. They're all my notifications. Um, so your dock down here, when you start organizing your computer, like start with the dock and put things in here and put them in order. So every day I'm going to open my email, going to open my calendar, going to open Wonder List. I'm going to use my notes. I'm going to use my reminders. Don't use post-it notes. These little things don't sync. I use them in real time, but if something happened to your computer, then you're done. Just use notes. Use this. Is that the regular notes? Yes. Okay. And we're going to talk about that yeah. in a little bit. Um, I'm going to use Chrome for me. Like, I'm logged into Chrome up here uh, as, you know, my, myself, so everything is good. For Safari, I use Safari for other clients. So, like, all the healthcare stuff that I'll help my friend with sometimes, like, here's all the folders of all the social media that we used to help manage for every single practice. And this is before Facebook Manager launched Manager. Anyway, um, but, like, right now I'm logged in as myself up here. But I try to use different apps or different browsers for different things. I think that Chrome, Google is way past Safari as a business person um, in terms of organization and the power. So, for example, like if I go to Chrome on my phone, every single tab up here, which I probably have 20 tabs open, can be open on here, too. You just have to tell it. You have to sync it. Safari doesn't do that, at least not yet. Um, so th there's a lot of powerful things, and you want to log in as Google because you want it to remember everything for you. <clears throat> uh, okay, so the doc, everything down here I use pretty much every day. Um, a couple things to show you while I'm down here is okay you guys asked me how to record your screen so this is QuickTime QuickTime comes with your computer so basically you open it right I don't know why this pops up I just hit done and then I'm going to go up to file you can do a movie recording an audio recording or a screen recording so I often do my screen because if I was doing an audio recording, why would I just not use my phone? Like, it's so much faster, right? So when I go to record my screen, there's a couple things that you need to know. The most important is this little bitty tiny arrow right there. You've got to make sure that it's in the right audio setting. So like one time, I'll never forget, I like did an hour-long screen thing, and my freaking microphone wasn't on. It was on none. I was like, God, oh! 
don't have to redo it. It was so bad. I'll never do that again. Um, so, like, I've got the Yeti microphone plugged in right now, which I use this to do podcasts, and it's just a lot clearer. Um, but I only really use it when I'm, like, trying to capture something that sounds really good and the noise and all that. But usually I'm just kind of doing it on the go. So you want to choose that. Then when you hit, so I can click or tap, not click. Do you all know the difference? Tapping is just tapping where it doesn't make a noise. And clicking is where you actually have to click, click. You're killing your ergonomics, your everything. You're killing your trackpad too. But more importantly, this repetitive motion and old BlackBerry users, this repetitive motion goes all the way through here, through your elbow, up through here, all the way down your neck. So it's like when you repetitively do something, like this little joint, have you ever had acupuncture? Like it is psycho how everything is connected, right? So like one time he did something in my toes that like helped my knees. I don't know. It's quite fascinating. (laughs) But anyway, so I can either click my full screen, which I typically don't really want to do because like I have stuff all over my screen. I don't want people to see everything. So you can hold three fingers down and drag. So it only gets a portion of the screen. Okay. And then you start recording and it's just, it's filming my screen right now. And it is picking up what I'm saying. Uh, then you close out of it to save it. I still don't know how to really close it out like good. I just go to two fingers down at the bottom. I hit quit and then I name it, um, test and I tell it where to go. This is the most important. I have people that are like, I don't know where my stuff is. You got to pay attention. Put it. I put everything on my desktop and immediately file it to where it goes. Because I don't really, I mean, I could, I guess, go to Dropbox. Um, It could go, like, I don't even use these pictures folders. I clear out my downloads folder at least once a week because that can take up a lot of your space. I just, I just put it on my desktop. And so then I'm going to save it, close. If you ever can't get out of something, you can always hit escape too. Like, you know those annoying pop-ups? They just keep, like, you can just X out of it or hit escape. Um, so I want my computer so to... every st- time you change a screen, you create a new video. And then you drag three fingers so people aren't seeing your entire screen. If you don't care, then you would just... Do you just click anywhere? Through. Yep. So, like, for example... <clears throat> We're going to go through, like, shortcut step two, which is really cool. So, like, then I'll go to a new screen. So, F3 is your best friend if you have a Mac. And there's, like, all these different... You can have up to 30 open at a time. I am not suggesting this. It will slow down your computer. However, F3. What does that do? We may need to set up your... So, F3 gives you... See all the different desktops up here? So, like, desktop one I have set up as my email. Desktop two is my calendar. Desktop three is my notes. Oh. Desktop four is the PowerPoint. Do you keep your calendar So you can set your desktop? Usually. It's good to close. I would let your computer sleep. Computers are like people. They need to sleep. So at least once a week I try to shut it down, shut everything down, and let it sleep on Sunday night while I'm asleep. <laughs> Um, if something's not working right or something's running slow, like every once in a while, Google Chrome, because I have so much open at once, um, when I'm working on different projects, like it'll just do weird shit. And so I just shut it all. I don't close everything. There's a difference. You just let it turn off. I just shut it off. Or do you shut it? No, you have to go up here and turn it. No, if you just let it. You have to, No. Restart or shut down. But whatever I have open currently, as long as I have that little check mark, it'll reopen what is open when I close. The other important thing is like I pre, I'll go back and forth. It's like every time I return on my computer, 
I want my desktop one to be my email desktop two. you know, like I just said, um, I also set iTunes to open up automatically to make sure that like my stuff is syncing on Wi-Fi. You have to set that up too. So, I mean, there's all these little things that you can do to make your, I mean, I could literally sit here for a week, seven days solid, no eat, no sleep, and still not tell you everything. You know, so in your iTunes, do you have to have that? I mean, because as far as to sync everything, what are you? You don't have to. Like, my mother doesn't have a Mac, and like, as long as you have iCloud and you have the most important things, like your mail, your notes, your contacts, backed up through iCloud, you're good. iTunes, I'm more used for like music. Um, not so much with business stuff, but. Mainly, it's just music. I'm trying to think what else we... We don't really use iTunes that much. Well, you can back it up, like, your whole device to iTunes. Oh, yeah. That's, like, if you... When you switch phones and stuff, like, I do want it to to back up so I can plug it in and pull it down from the cloud. Yeah. Desktop. Okay. So, but down here, it's, like, these are the things that I use every day. And you want to make sure that that is cleaned up. So you want to organize your doc and then, so your doc and then your desktop, which I'm working on these things right now. That's why these are here, but you should really never have anything there. Like, see, here's that test. Mm -hmm. So you can see, so I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to empty my trash because I'm psycho about entering. I empty my trash every day. If I delete it, it's gone. And it takes up space on your computer. <laughs> so, and and it, anything that slows me down, like, I, I just, I don't like it. Um, and then, like, whenever you take screenshots of something, like, you know, you should really name it and put it where it goes. The other thing is, is the screenshot doesn't automatically change it to a JPEG. So, watch. I just tap once. It highlights it. Tap it again. And I can uh, change it, computer stolen dot JPEG. Use JPEG. People are like, how do you change it to a JPEG? I'm like, you tap, tap again, type what you want, dot JPEG, and you're done. It's, but like PCs don't do that, <laughs> you know? I mean, there's all these little things that I'm like, again, I am all about the quickest, fastest, shortcut, queen way, you know? Um... So keep your desktop clean. Like anything living on your desktop, you guys, it's not really being backed up real time unless you're like on Carbonite or something like that. But really like it's just distraction and you don't even realize like what's distracting you. The other thing is if you, if everybody has a computer, go up to um, system preferences and there's a couple things that I want to point out in here that are really, 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 really important. Not all of them. Um, there's some things I'm going to show you, and then there's some things I actually want you to do. Okay, so the dock, you can make these bigger, smaller. You can magnify them. I like mine at the bottom. You can go left. You can go right. Uh, I don't know why anyone, I don't know, my brain just doesn't work that way. Um, you can see there's all kinds of things you can do with that little menu, okay? So customize it the way you want to see it. The other thing um, that this really is important in Spotlight, if you're going to use this little search thing to get shortcuts, you need to make sure all your stuff is checked. Because if it's not checked, so many times I'll tell somebody or I'll look on a client's computer and I'll go up here to Spotlight search and I'm like, where are your contacts? And I'll go in here and they don't have anything checked. They're like, I can't find anything on my computer. I'm like, that's because you don't have anything checked for the computer to search for it. <laughs> um, and it's not hard, y'all. It's just you got to check the checkbox, right? The next thing, okay, I'm big on notifications. Not so much on my computer as I am well, online. No, big. I'm, I'm psycho about it, actually. So we'll do the phone in a minute. So on the computer, <laughs> there's a couple things. All right, y'all know the difference between banners and alerts? Yes. Okay, so on a lot of these, I have none. I don't want notifications. I don't want the flying in and fly out. So a lot of these have none. A banner means that it comes in and it goes out. 
So it's just like a quick, like, hey, your meeting, next meeting's in 10 minutes, like wrap up. Or alerts, it comes out and it stays. And it doesn't move until you click move <laughs> or done or whatever. So there's, this is so bad, y'all. There are certain people that we work with, and they don't mean it, but like, we'll say your meeting is from 3.30 to 5, whatever. And on the TV, I have to set alerts so that they know, like, we got to wrap it up. And like, here's the wrap up technique where I shut my computer, I stand up. Not that I'm like, I want to finish with them. It's just that like, if I have another appointment, like I need to get going. And like, I'm really bad at that. Like really bad at it. So for some things in my calendar, I'll set banners and alerts on purpose. I do want to see in my notification center, which this is your notification center on your computer. Um... And then I want to, I always want to know like what app is it talking about? So the, the badge icon, I have my sounds off. I hate sounds. I am so, um, I don't know. You're, there's this psychologist that did this amazing video on how your brain is wired and how you perceive light and sound. And there's like eight different kinds. And I'm the kind, which I already knew this because my mom said they went to a counselor because I was like a one percenter strong-willed child like she wanted to kill me kind of so they had to it's like before I would could talk and I was one I would put everything in a line like all my toys and then when she would pull the vacuum out I would flip out like don't touch my line don't and I still do the same thing as an adult like when we load in for weddings I put all the linens in line I have to see it all to even see like where it's gonna go like it's just the way my brain works and I like I tell them up front like you can make fun of me, whatever, but I, my brain, I can't comprehend. And they're like, where do you want this? Where do you, I'm like, I don't know yet. Just let me lay it all out. I need it in a line, maybe three or four lines are color coded. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. It's going to look damn good. Trust me, but I need to see it all first. And I know that about myself. So it's like little things like that. Like I'm very sensitive to light. I'm very sensitive to sound. And it, like in my car, I would get in with one of the girls that used to work with me and like this backup thing is like ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, shut up. Where's the button? And like, she doesn't even hear it. Like she's so accustomed because she used to take my car all the time. So it's like, you kind of have to pick up on like the senses of like what your clients, you know, and then like light. And even if after I went in for, to have my eyes operated on, like I'm even more sensitive to light. It could be pouring down raining and I'm wearing sunglasses and people are like, you do know it's raining. I'm like, yes, I do know. I also know in my office that every bulb is unscrewed. It is not out. My light bulbs are not out. They're just unscrewed because it gives me a headache. I had to order new bulbs for people think I'm I'm really not high maintenance. But do you know how hard it is to find a non-LED bulb these days? Holy shit, okay? There's one website on all of Google, you know, that... Uh, and I never, I, I know way more about light bulbs than I want to know. Like where I move, they have all this track lighting and it is like, whoo, migraine central for me. Mm. And I got the lowest grade possible and they're still like bright as hell. So anyway, it's like learning all that stuff. So people, some people are more sensitive to others. It's still distracting no matter what eight you are. Okay. So pick and choose and go through this. Do you want stuff for FaceTime? Mail is off. I don't want, I know I have 300 or 200 or 100. I don't want the sounds. I don't want it flying in. Now my cute little brother, he's like, I'm like, turn that shit off. And he's like, no, no, like I I need to know every time. And I'm like, we'll we'll talk in 60 days. And then you're going to be like, I need to focus and I need to push out the distractions. Um, With text messages, you know, I like to know because that's how we communicate a lot. But I do not, do not, do not, do not want people to see. So this is unchecked. Show message preview. Uncheck that. Mm. Reminders, I do want them to fly in and out. Again, I don't need sounds. I don't want anything for Safari. I don't want anything from iTunes. I don't want to know every time a picture's uploaded. I don't want to know any of it. Like, oh, my God, with uh, Wonderlist, all of our team has their own list. We're going to talk about that. And, like, if I have 10 lists and every single person is getting 10 things done a day, 
That's a hundred notifications in one day. I don't need it sliding in. People are like, well, how do you know if your people are like, they're done? I'm like, I just look on Wonderless. Like, I don't need the freaking notifications. If you're hiring people, why are you babysitting them? Like, set a deadline. They can update things. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I ended up, like, some of the stuff for Dropbox is good, so I know what's going on. But every time you download an app, like, you've got to tell it what to do. So that's just an example of, like, the whole notification thing. And, again, you want to do this on your iPad and your phone. So in your settings... I think it's most important on here. Like if I had to pick one, because this is what I look at, you go to your settings, you look at notifications, and this sucks, but you have to do it for every single flipping app. So again, potty train yourself every time you download an app to go in and tell it what to do, right? So it's like, and it's in alphabetical order. Uh, and by the way, like I've updated my phone or when I get a new phone, and for some reason, all my little preferences go away iTunes doesn't back that up. It sucks. However, whenever I have to get a new phone, I try to prep my brain and make sure I don't have an event that weekend. And I literally set aside 20 ish hours just to reset me back up. So for the next two years, I'm good. But you've got to take that time to do it. So here's my calendar. I want to allow notifications. So much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on angelaprofit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to angelaprofit.com.